Cone Bonwa, good evening, Vault Dwellers. It is I, Loki the Mad Titan, and welcome to episode 96. Yes, episode 96 of Fallout 76 Blind, Death, and Dumb. And I normally clarify that since uh, early on some people were confused blind because I am playing this blind death because I die and um, and I normally say because I'm dumb but I will uh, add an addendum to that I'll say because I I do dumb things and doesn't everybody from time to time we're all human after all unless we're in a simulation and then none of us are human uh, if you're new to the channel those are your Roshko and the Gaijimas if you're new to the series Hajime Mashte and if you are regular like Daniel like Isabella like so many others Okai Rinasai, welcome home. Welcome back. Thank you for spending some time with me. We're uh, still doing Sophia, the uh, geeky, nerdy, I guess nerdy, but be more appropriate than uh, geeky astronauts quest line. There's normally always some blood eagles up here. Although, I was going to say, they had not spawned into existence yet for some reason. Why am I not doing much damage to him? Alright, there we go. It's like I have to be sneaking to do damage, apparently. I thought that was... I didn't know what that was! I didn't know what... For a second, I was like, what's that green thing over there? There's always a turret over here. This, this guy's... He does not care that I killed his friend. He's just going to come slowly walking towards me with a knife. Not the best plan. We've already picked up a stim pack. How many shots to blow up a turret? All right, we are going to fast travel. I just wanted to kill something. Alright, so our camp is right here. In the Dust Bowl. Where are we going? Where are we going? We are going to... You know, we've been here previously as well. <laughs> I keep talking about how 76... Which we're getting closer and closer to legitimately being done. My plan is to finish... The uh, main quests... To finish the side quests which granted yes there's a lot more side quests and then that that's that's pretty much it maybe the miscellaneous although a lot of miscellaneous stuff is ridiculous like kill Wendigo wearing a clown costume but that's why we're working on Sophia's uh, quest line and I guess we'll, we'll, we'll uh, since I did Becca dirty I will go back and um, I spent so much caps fast traveling the last episode. I'm going to uh, try to cut it down just a little bit by jumping to Foundation first before we fast travel directly to that location. Subscriber count is still inching up very slowly. Keep trying not to be discouraged about it. It like, it's either like it's this, this slow process, and then I feel like it's every once in a while YouTube will actually recommend one of my episodes to people, and then I'll spike, like in one week, like 10 subscribers. Oh, now I have my Fit Boy light on. Alright, so we're headed in this general direction. We proved in the previous episode, for the most part, we can be sneaky and just get in and get the things that we need to get and get out without engaging and fighting and killing everything. It looks like there's just some ghouls over here. Oh, wait. And it wants me to go... <laughs> it wants me to go right, right into the center of the ghoul camp. Ugh... Like, I want to throw a grenade, but I swear my grenades have really not... They've not been impressing me. Well, that, that was mildly impressive. But again, I feel like I did not do... 
nearly as much damage as I would have liked to have done there. With a, it's a pl it was a plasma grenade. It's not like I'm throwing tickle feathers. God them, I mean, they just ran off in all kinds of wonky directions. Which is not particularly helpful at all. Alright, I'm in the bushes. Are you you were legendary and I did like no damage on it. Didn't I cripple one of your legs already? I thought I did. Shoot him in the butt. Butt shots. Killed him with butt shots. That was a great place to be standing. Give me some I've never gotten anything good. I said I don't I don't know if that's good. I keep getting the radium rifles. Like, those don't work on, on ghouls, right? So, like, how is that? Where is he going? <laughs> he's, 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 he's determined to think that I am further into the woods that way when I'm shooting him in the back. I lost him. I literally lost him. He went so far away, I can't find him now. Bro, right here. Right here. What are you doing? Now that right away too, please. Thank you. Well, let's take a quick look. Now that it's quiet. <coughs> yeah, we're fine. Let's take a quick look at that gun. I guarantee you, it's, it's not for me. Five percent damage after each consecutive hit on the same target, up to forty-five percent. I mean, that part sounds cool. Uh, it does regular damage as well as radium damage. Radioactive damage. I don't know what's a radium damage. I mean, compared to what I'm using, I mean, this does 72. I have rad worms. I don't even know when I got rad worms, but apparently I have rad worms. I don't know. I could always test the gun out and see how it does. I'm I'm dying of thirst. Apparently. What in the world? shot him in the legs 87 times and somehow still not triple the leg. I mean, seriously, that took forever. Ridiculous. Why didn't he come out with the other ones? Okay. Well, it is what it is. It's done. He's dead. I do kind of miss using the uh, stealthy sniper. But, uh, because Daniel's been teasing me, ultimately I'd like to be able to kill things faster, which is why I switched to this gun. And I keep... Sophia keeps giving me grenade launchers. Because, <coughs> excuse me. I don't even know who just broke. Because clearly she wants me to use grenade launchers. And I keep not using the grenade launchers. So I don't know. Maybe I'll test out a grenade launcher. Just to see how they work. I'm just eating snacks. Lemonade. Yeah, I'll save that. But I do need something to drink. I'll do one more. I do love soda after all. Alright, so we got the USA A USS I messed that up every time. USSA. Let's get some crackle berries. Uh key card. And I mean this is literally all, every quest has just been uh, go get. It's a fetch quest. It's been like a hundred fetch quest, 
fest festering quest is fetch quests go get this pick it up bring it back go get this pick it up bring it back our new subscriber is zens 14 not sure what zens is watching but if it happens to be the series uh thank you so very much for the subscription Michael Stone started uh, commenting. I'm behind. I'm replying to comments, but I do always reply to comments. Sometimes I get a week or two behind, but then I will sit there for however long it takes and respond or at least like. Like if you're like cool video, and it's like the 87th time you said cool video, I'll just I'll probably just gonna like it. But if you're somebody new, I'll yeah, I normally. You know, it's whatever pops into my head. If something pops into my head, I say it. If I can't really think of anything to say, then I normally there just like it. Here I am. I was I am. hoping you would stop by. It, it's my it house. It's a smile on my face. Okay, well, I'm glad I made you smile. Uh, here. You make this look easy. I hope that holds. Because we're about to head into the fire now. I did a scan of Sugar Grove, and I only spotted one USSA signal. Just one. Maybe they're blocking my scans? It definitely could be a trap. So go there and find Athena. And deploy the arachne holotape. Okay, I, we're not, we're not just, <laughs> this is the least amount of dialogue options since I've been doing quests. Are we done? Are we, is this the last one? It sounds like the final one. See if you can shut it down first. Then I'll shut it you. down! It should be as simple as inserting a holotape. I believe in you, friend. And thank you for doing this for me. See, so, so you heard it. You heard it again. She said, I believe in you, friend. Friend. Yes, she believes in me, friend, which my son finds very amusing. Okay. So we're going to find Athena. I mean, if, if Athena... Uh, is is a is a an assaultron or something and uh doesn't want to call me friend and is better at flirting with me than she is i think i'm gonna switch sides <laughs> i'll go with i'll go with athena all right where are we going let's finish this off yeah so the whole idea for this series from the beginning was let's play this Sugar Grove. Apparently, I've been to Sugar Grove, and there's something else to do at Sugar Grove. So maybe we'll do both those things while we're there? I, I don't know. To play 76 after uh, avoiding it like the plague, which I feel like it was justified and should be understandable based on, you know, everything uh, that happened with it when it came out. And then getting it for ten bucks, and sort of seeing like, okay, trying to figure out if I should just. I'm just gonna go right to it. Screw it. Is this terrible? No. No. Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm still reserving final opinions for when I'm done because I really want to have a think about it. How do I feel about this? I mean, honestly, compared. Compared to my other series, I don't want to say this is my least favorite, but it it probably is my least favorite. I mean, it's 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 the truth. So why am I still playing it? Well, because I feel like I'm 96 episodes in. I want to see it to completion, and then what's happening? I literally don't see anything. Alright, well now there's a major gutsy, which is not that big of a problem. I can just flat out ignore him. We know that. Although somehow he's coming right towards me. That was funny. Uh, there's another, so there's two major gutsies. But again, for the most part, I can just completely ignore them. Get in this limo and go for a ride. Can't remember how long radworms take to wear off. Alright. 
so we're seeing <clears throat> more and more stuff in here. We have a Protectron, we have a turret. I might be able to work my way around them. Maybe. Protectron would be easy to take out. The turret, not that much of a problem. Just not sure who else is going to be in here. Okay. This gutsy looks like it fought... I don't know what it fought. Was that an Assaultron? Alright, this is starting to be a problem. There's too many in too tight of quarters. Okay. So, I guess I'm going to have to take him out. Get closer. No, no, no. Blow up over there, please. No, no, no. As I say, don't get any closer to me. Oh, no, the turret. Oh, that turret's wrecking me. Okay. Well, that was a little bit a little bit more than I'd hoped for. So we're just going to retreat a little bit while those explosions are going off. Again, I'm stealthy. I'll even turn off my light and just hide back here. We'll do a stim pack. I have plenty. While we're hiding over here, let's take a look. Uh-huh, yep. I ran away. Oh, you're very scary. Ratworm is going to be done in three minutes, so I don't care. Even whatever whatever the effects are. <clears throat> Alright, back to hidden. We're just going to kill everything. It's just the safest way most of the time to handle situations. Especially when they're not too difficult on their own. Alright, we're... All right, yeah, so they all kind of moved around into different locations. I'm going to take out his eye. All right, he's done. Whoa, whoa! That turret is impressive. It's getting me from... Nothing I like better than a little R&R on <laughs> I'm stuck. Sam's dime. I'm stuck. I'm stuck on rocks. Alright. That turret is ridiculous. It's getting me from all the way over there. Take out that one. Take out that one. Alright, took out all of his eyes. So he should be blind now for the most part. <coughs> Alright. Gutsies are done. We'll go and take out that turret, because that turret was wrecking us for sure. Check that legendary Protectron. Two legendaries already. That's interesting. I don't normally see legendaries that often. Never mind two in a row. We're only like ten minutes into an episode. Let's turn the light back on. Seeing is important. One of the core tenants of the channel. Alright, I'd like to be able to come up behind the turret. Stalker short handmade what? What does that mean? Stalker short handmade. It's not combat, 100% fat accuracy. And I couldn't finish reading it before it went away. So what is this now? What did I get? It's only one star. If not in combat, 100% VATS accuracy at 50%. I mean, it, it does it does as much damage as what I'm using. I 
mean, I almost feel like that's saying that... I only have 210 ammo left. Uses the same ammo. I want to run out of ammo for my main gun again. Alright, so I can... Oh, and there's no scope. I don't like that at all. Wait, who is shooting me? Oh. The gutsy that's supposed to already be dead? He's gonna kill me. What in the world? Let's switch back to the other gun. Listen, you were almost already dead. Like, how did you heal? Can robots heal? I didn't think that was a thing. Not entirely sure why he blew up like that either. Where did his uh, robot corpse go? Robot corpse, where are you? There it is. Why can't I? What can I, uh... <laughs> okay. What was that? Oh, whatever he fought is missing down here. Yeah, when we came in here originally, it looked like he had fought an Assaultron. Or something. Couldn't really... I didn't really get a good look at it. Because I was... At that point, I was like, Oh, I'm going to be stealthy. No, you're not. You're not going to be stealthy. And, uh... Yeah, I definitely think... Let's try this. I'm gonna have to switch my weapon. I'm gonna have to go back to uh, my tickle gun. Where is it? There it is. Daniel's favorite gun. I mean, <laughs> it's supposed to do 83 damage, Daniel. I mean, it's not supposed to be that bad. And I haven't even put any legendaries on it. So I can play with it. Like, I think I can make this better. I mean, he's right. It doesn't. It doesn't do. It doesn't do a ton of damage. And Sophia didn't give me a grenade launcher. What'd she do? She must have gave me this junk. So I'm carrying extra junk with me. I don't want that. <sighs> Thanks, Sophia. All right, let's get in here. Sugar Grove. So I've been here before. I don't. I don't remember why I'm here. That was. I started to say that earlier, and then I didn't actually get to my point. My point was, with 76. And I've been saying it every episode now because Sophia's questline is a great example. They're constantly sending you to places that you've already been. And I don't understand what the fascination is with repeatedly sending you to some place that you've already been. Would you, I mean, we've looked at the map, and I've joked about, like, hey, look at the map. That's the other thing, is I am extraordinarily you stealthy. Run, you loving bastard. I, I am. I'm running. All right, stand still for a second. Just for one... All right, don't stand still. I don't, I don't, I don't need you to stand still. I really don't. But, yeah, this gun doesn't do a ton of damage, and then I just kind of hop around, and I keep... Um, until I can kill them. That's that's my technique with this gun. It's slow, especially with stronger enemy like a scorch beast. It's like it it takes me like an hour to kill a scorch beast. So can I kill a scorch beast for sure? But it takes forever. Never mind if I'm taking on two or three. I mean, I've literally taken on three scorch beasts and it was it was lit literally like an hour. I'm stealthy, I can hide and get back in the hidden pretty quick and easily, and they lose track of me, and I can just keep ticking away, you know, a teeny little bit. Alright, so where, where'd that Protectron go? I need to blow off his arms, so that way he can blow up. Yeah, maybe I'll play with this. I still don't even know where I got the fixer from. 
I don't, I don't, I think it was like a quest reward or something. Where did he go? There was totally a Protectron here wandering around. We saw him when we first came in. And now he's, he went on a walkabout. Yeah, I still can't open things. And it drives me crazy. But yeah, back to my point that I was making. 76 likes to send you to the same locations over and over and over again. And again, I've even made a point. I've look at this, look at this beautiful, massive map. And there's been so many places on the map where I've been sent there repeatedly. Like, what is that? There's that dire chemical. I've been sent to like four times for quests. There ain't that many quests that I need to be sent to Dire Chemical four times for quests. And there's still places I haven't even been to. I haven't discovered this for some reason, or this, or... Uh, I thought I saw something else. Or this. Or this. <coughs> or this. Where did Mysterious Cave come from? I mean, that instantly catches my interest because it's called Mysterious Cave. I also kind of want to go up here to whatever this thing is. Is it a beaver? Is it a prairie dog? Is it an otter? Is it a bear? I can't tell what that is. But it looks interesting. Can I even get that far up on the map? Anyway, I'll stop complaining. It is very strange that the Protectron just... There he is. What's up, buddy? Alright, can I blow off your arms now? Yes, is the answer to the question. That's my favorite thing to do with them, and then I'll just... Run away and let them blow up. He's facing the wall, because he has no idea where I am. He's not even really trying to pass to me. And there he's gone. I'm about to be level 93, not that that's exciting. I said I'm going to stop complaining, but that's a perfect, perfect segue for another thing. That I feel like 76 made leveling not exciting. How did they do that? Well, I mean, once you get past level 50, and there's, there's dude. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. That was exciting. Clearly I forgot about a laser turret. That uh, just absolutely destroyed me. Okay, so how can I... How can I mess with him? Oh, there's two of them. That's part of the reason why. Alright, well, I can... I can kind of go bloop, bloop, bloop. Wait, what? Is that a... Is that a ghoul I just heard now? You're gonna throw ghouls at me, too? In the middle of me trying to do this? Oh, no, it's a gutsy. Okay, so you're really trying to... Alright, whatever. Just stop being stealthy. Just... Get rid of him. I don't have to do the shoot and hide, shoot and hide. Yeah, so I mean, like, I'm not even going to bother with the computer terminals or anything. Because I remember this place. I remember, remember the layout. Because this goes... Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm saying I remember the layout. Then I'm like, wait, I don't remember those beds. Yeah, I think we came here for this. And there's definitely, like, a ghouly noise now or something there's some other creature noise can I shoot from here yes all right one laser turret down Gonna do a little blind firing and then right back to hit it nice done all right yeah those double 
And I leveled. Woohoo! Now, like, w so what am I talking about when I say leveling isn't exciting? Well, I leveled. That means you get to upgrade your character, right? And do all kinds of cool things, right? Yeah? Yeah? Right? Yeah? We're relatively safe here, right? Let's put the gun away. All right, yeah, let's take a look at what we can do here. We can, uh... Um... Oh, pick a perk. That sounds awesome. Let's pick a perk. What are we gonna what are we gonna pick here? Uh where are we? Alright. Maybe maybe why do I have expert rifleman? I already have expert rifleman. Why is this why is this here? We need to get rid of this. Alright, we don't need that. What what are we gonna pick? What's exciting here? F uh, farm f Pharma, pharma. I guess. I don't know. I have most of the ones that I that I like, but I can, you can't put anything else on. You can't put anything else on. <laughs> There's nothing to put on. You just you can't upgrade your character anymore. It's bizarre to me that like they're like yeah like once you get to a certain point. <laughs> That's it, sucker. All right. So where's Farmer Parmesan? Did I go into the right place? I don't think I went to the right place, did I? Yeah, it was luck. All right. Let's try that again. So we're going to luck. So yeah, what you can do is you can you can pick up different things and then swap them out, but you don't actually get extra points. So like, yeah, I can get this. I can rank it up. All right, woohoo! I just completed a challenge. That sounds super exciting. It's not exciting because I can't put anything else on. Like, I would love to be able to do some lock picking. Um, I'm always crying about being over encumbered. Okay, so put pack rat on. What you can't? Well, add points to strength. Why well, can't? I mean, you can, but like, like you, you have to grind and grind and grind and grind. Like I'd have to get to level hundred, and then I'll unlock some more uh, legendary perks. But you see, I already, I already, I already picked strength and agility. So next time, I'm probably gonna pick. I don't know. Not strength or agility, because. I've already picked them. I can't pick them again, I don't believe. So, I don't know. Uh, I, uh, because I've been crying about lock picking for a million years. Probably perception is what I'll pick. So that way I, I can actually put lock picking back on because I like picking locks. And I have gotten these, but I don't have them on. Why? Because everything I have on is geared towards my build of, you know, actually being able to, to kill things. I know, it's crazy. So, for me, at least... It's made leveling very uh, underwhelming. It's like leveling, you know, normally is exciting. Alright, so where am I going exactly? There's a turret right there. Yeah, because you came here for another quest for these things. You had to get. I don't remember what it was. I don't remember the quest because it wasn't a memorable quest. But where I'm trying to get is over here somewhere. How am I getting over here? Alright, there we go. Let's see if we can just get in here. There are, I think, some robots in here, too, but we theoretically should be able to avoid them. And just grab... Nope, not... How did I miss that? Not robots, rad roaches. I think my cat wants some tacos. Cats love tacos. All right. I hear him. He has no idea where I am, though. I know the stealthy sniper build is cliche and not super exciting, but I mean that this character, for the most part, is built for. I don't. I don't know what a what a better what a better, more exciting build would be. I mean, I just I went for like what I'm most comfortable with, so that way I'm not dying a lot. Maybe it would be more fun if I was dying all the time? I don't know. Alright. So we... Oh. 
okay. Well, that's not Athena. That's Artemis. And Artemis is not immediately hostile. Um, we'll take your tarberry. Can we? Are we friends? We're friendly? All systems active. If you're gonna jump me, can I take you out ahead of time, or are you gonna make? Or if we're gonna, <laughs> if we're doing a close combat fight with an assaultron, we're gonna need this on. We're gonna need that on for sure, because yeah, you're gonna you're gonna wreck me this close. Now this gun, I love. I love this gun. Like, what damage does this do again? Seventy-two times two. Uh, and it fires pretty quickly, yada, 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 but uh, its distance is just doo-doo. Like, I have to be, like, standing, like, this close to something to kill it. Alright, so... We've definitely not read this computer. Let's check out the lore. Uh, it just says login. Okay. Uh, okay, so it doesn't... So you can't... Again, just... <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm trying not to complain, and then things keep coming up for me to complain about. So, just literally another terminal that they put no thought or effort into. Bravo, bravo, a dinner plate. And that's something they can fix. They could have somebody whose job it is to just give some flavor, man. Come and give some flavor. Put something here. Something. So many times I go I go to the computers and I'm excited about lore. If you watch any of my series, besides this one, you know I love lore. And I'm always looking for lore in all the wrong places. No fly girls, just ugly faces. And, and uh, you know, there's no... There's... <laughs> Alright, Athena. Goddess Athena. What? Is Artemis going to attack me? That's the thing I'm the most concerned about because one-on-one -on -one in close quarters... With an Assaultron, I'm going to die. You found me. I did. At last. This place is a surveillance station. You're an old data collection system, aren't you? We need you to end this experiment. I'm here to shut you down. Shut it down. Tell me about this experiment. Yes. That's how it started. Upgraded for a while. Then silence. Nobody returned. For years, I just had their eyes. Limited views of the world. Flashes of fire in the darkness. Dim glows. Okay, uh, tell me about this experiment. I do not have access to those files. I am simply a conduit for sensory data from the various subjects. A liaison. An usher. For years, I watched with their eyes, listened with their ears, felt with their hands. Years after, the scientists stopped returning. All of them, except Dr. Hale. He was unable to acquire all the pieces required to bring the experiment to a close. Not like you. Okay, I need you to end this experiment? I cannot. My directives are quite clear. Establish sensory contact with the subject and maintain the sensory outflow. I am a passenger, an observer. I did not design the experiment, nor did I wish to continue it. I brought you here to end the experiment for me. Okay. Please, load the Arachne into my system. My main terminal can be found on the far wall. Okay, time to finish this. Is this why Sophia has these headaches? Couldn't Emerson shut you down? Let's talk about the headaches. Yes. I am afraid so. I am forced to scan open pathways regularly. Each time I scan, it causes pain to anyone who is sentient. And then I feel their pain as well. That sounds terrible. Uh, couldn't Emerson shut you down? I'm guessing no, or he would have done it. He's not an engineer. Attempts were made. Subjects stopped responding. One remains. He could not continue the attempts. 
Okay, time to finish this, I guess. I am ready. You made it. You actually made it here. We can finally take care of Athena once and for all. Hello again, Dr. Hale. We should use Arachne and be done with it. Don't listen to her. She's a machine. She doesn't feel anything. She wants me to use Arachne. I do not know the difference between observed feelings and enacted ones. So I cannot confirm this statement. You haven't used Arachne yet? What's going on? I'm talking Subject to the robot! Aguere. Welcome. I did not wish to infiltrate your senses. Your mind. I had no choice. I know you did not either. I know you were unaware entirely. I do not know if your headaches will continue after Arachne is deployed. The other subjects did not survive the process. Do not let this connection between us continue. It is unethical. This experiment has enough observational data and should be concluded. You want to end it? You... you were never in control. Of me, or yourself. They were. And now we're gonna use Arachne to erase you. Because that's what they want us to do. I... I don't know what to do here. <laughs> what if I said green sunrise? What exactly happens uh, if I use Arachne? Will you die? Where do I put the Arachne program? Well, I'm not. I don't have luck 15, so this is not going to work. Uh, won't even let me say it. I just figured I would say it and fail. Um, sure. For all intents and purposes, yes. My primary input will be removed, so there will be nothing left to process. It may be possible to reboot this unit in the future, if needed. But this method remains untested. This can't be the only option. Kill you to save Sophia? I mean, it's I don't I really don't care about the robot that much, honestly. The only certain way to save Subject Aguere is to destroy me. But you are correct. That is not the only option. An experimental path was added. My higher processes could be transferred into another vessel. The Artemis unit in this room should serve. <coughs> but this path is untested. The results... I am unsure if this would cure Subject Aguere. But there is a possibility we both could live. If you wish to attempt it. I have unlocked the option in my terminal. Okay, I mean, it's not really up to me, man. Wait, I have to make the choice? Uh, so what do you want me to do, Sophia? We... We need to end this. But how? Okay. It's, it's, it's for you. You need to tell... Okay. It's time for you to correct our mistake. <laughs> Everybody's like, hey, man. We ain't making any decisions here. You you make the decision. Okay, so sure, let's let's make a friendly assaultron that might murder us to death. I guess I don't know. Security incidents to report zero. Okay, so that's not what I, that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, a choice must be made. Which I leave to you. Okay, yeah, I know. Everybody wants me to do it. Where do I input the uh, Rackney program? I have unlocked my main systems terminal against the firewall. You can deploy it there. All right, is that where I'm supposed to transfer? It's going to give me the option there, I guess. Additional subjects detected. Yep. Athena. She had no choice. Just like me. 
We can have a sexy robot three-way now. Me, you, and Athena. The thing doesn't even care if you destroy it. Simply deploy Arachne and be done with it. No, I don't like you, Emerson. I'm not doing what you want me to do. All right. Uh. Okay. Insert Arachne hall tape. Upload Athena to Artemis. Add new subject. Delete subject. All right. We're gonna upload Athena to Artemis. I don't know. Transfer a pathway for subject to Gare. Rerouting pathways to subject to Artemis. Unit 12. Unit active done. Oh, they're playing. <laughs> they're already playing like bad guy evil music. Done. Okay. Activated. Pathways open. Limited control granted to remote system. Access granted. Ugh. My head! What? What's happening? Control detected. Confirmed. This unit is mobile. This unit has no higher processing functions. This unit has no Receptors. Accessing ethical parameters. Confirmed. Accepted. You. You have freed me. I can leave this place. Thank you. Thank you. Sophia! Are you alright? I... Emerson... Not now. Okay, but the robot's walking away. Hold on, wait. Thank you. Thank you. Freedom. Okay, that's not helpful. Um, maybe I'm, I don't know what I just did. Is it over? I guess so. <sighs> did she seem happy? It looked like you were surfing. When... I don't know if that was a wise choice, friends. What harm could giving her some autonomy do exactly? She's been trapped. She is an in assault rod. You're making for decades. And my headaches are less severe, maybe. You certainly seem ready to embrace the dramatic for a solution that may not have even actually cured you. Emerson. I don't care if it's been decades since you did those things. You still did them. Shoot him. Shoot him. I forgive you. Oh. But I just don't want to see you again. Please do not visit. Please just keep your distance. Can I shoot him? Okay. Emerson, kindly <laughs> Emerson kindly F off and never return. Emerson, a person of your intellect ought to go find like minded individuals elsewhere far away. Um, you aren't welcome at our camp any longer. Uh, Sophia doesn't want to see you anymore. Uh... Oh. Well, that's a bit much, don't you think? <laughs> I mean, shouldn't we remain civil? Okay, okay. I'm leaving. Okay. Bye. Um. Bye. Thank you, my dear friend. Thank you for helping me through all of this. Why is Emerson not leaving? I'll see you back at our camp soon. Instance progress checkpointed. Talk to Sophia back at camp. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. All right, so this is not gonna work anymore, I guess. Yep, just some static. And this, I'm gonna guess, doesn't work anymore. Yep. Okay. Well, I still don't know if that's everything. I mean, I guess it's everything. I don't know if I made the right choice. Fingers crossed for the uh, Sophia Athena threesome, maybe. Alright, so there are still enemies about... Ooh, funnel cake! 
that was exciting. Uh, <laughs> so let's see if we can get out of here without dying or necessarily engaging anyone else because I really don't feel like fighting 500 more robots. What kind of snacks we got here? A Tato? It's not my favorite, but I'll take it. Anything else? A lot of vodka. We're drinking a lot, a lot of vodka in here. Let's get out of here. I need to drink again because my character is always thirsty. Yeah, I still don't know where that ghoul, the ghoul sound is coming from. Oh, wait, sounds like we're getting closer to it. Oh no, that's that. Okay, weird. A lot of uh, electricity problems here. Ooh. So this wraps up Sophia. Then I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure what we're gonna pick to do next. <coughs> I've still been really uh, putting off making the choice between the settlers. And the, uh, please, I hate turning, turning my light off. The, uh, Settlers and the, uh, Raiders. Uh, like 99% sure I'm going with Settlers, so I don't know why. I don't, I don't know when, like, I, it's, that I have to, like, officially, like, this is it. Once you, once you choose, you can't change your mind. I don't think I'm going to change my mind, but still, I don't know... Oh wait, what's happening here? What we got? What is this? I'm trying to see what the event is. What's the event? Why can I not? Safe and sound. Started five minutes ago. Co-op. Blue Ridge needs help taking a... Yeah, I mean, it's already been going on for five minutes and I'm not entirely sure what it means by co-op. Does that mean I need to be in a team? Because I am not in a team. I was doing that for a while. Anytime I'd log in, I would just, like, join a casual team. And it didn't really seem to serve much point at all. I've still never played this, you know, for in all intents and purposes, the way I think it was designed to, like, play with friends. Because uh, I don't have any Fallout 76 friends. <sighs> Apparently, I'm allergic to even talking about Fallout 76 friends. Let's see if there's anybody visiting. Nobody's visiting. Do you? Did you put? Did I? Did I beat her back to camp? Uh. Okay. That's unexpected. I, I beat her back to camp. I didn't even know that was possible. Does Sophia not know how to fast travel? Okay, I mean... I don't know. Sure, I guess. Because I, <laughs> I don't know what else to do now to... Sophia is not a camp for some reason. What's up, Brahmin? Oh, that's that's scary. That that is scary. What the hell? It broke again? Oh, and it's a trapped in craters. Please help protect the generator while Clyde tries to get those repeller doohickeys working again. Okay, I need to. I'm in danger already. From what am I in danger? Oh no! Oh no, why? <laughs> and that's what I get for trying to, uh, to uh, join events, I guess. Anybody need to revive anybody? Anybody want to revive me? 
Thank you! I appreciate that. Alright, let's switch to my a uh, little bit better weapon. And maybe. You're doing great. Just hold out a little longer. Okay. I don't believe you. Because I immediately died. What's up? I couldn't read your name. You're, you're moving around too quickly. What just hit me? I don't. I don't understand what just hit me. Oh, that noise is really annoying. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Can't even kill a wolf. This guy can kill things. It looks like he's one-shotting things. So I'm just gonna hide. I'm just gonna hide behind him. Apo Calica, Calia. I can't. I can't. He's running around in circles. We have Tax Mistress and CCG One Two One, and <laughs> we're still in danger. I don't know what we're in danger from. I'm just gonna hide in the corner, I guess, because that's what I'm good at doing. What now? Clyde, At the repair no pressure, generator? but we're all counting on you. Clyde, hurry. Not sure how long we can hold them off. Where, how do I repair the generator? I don't know how. I don't know how to repair... Can, can I repair the generator? How do I repair the generator? How do I repair the generator? Okay. I'm gonna go in his house over here. I'll take everything, I guess. I don't know. Oh my god. What am I shooting? I don't know what I'm shooting. I'm gonna go hide in the bathroom. Hiding in the bathroom. There's a note in here. Oh no, I just dog food. <laughs> All right, wait. Fast me some help. You don't. Oh, there's somebody already fucking back. Dang it. Does that count? I think that counted. I think that counted. Quick, get back into the house. It's the only place we're safe. Shut the door. <laughs> can I shoot through here? I can. I'm just gonna keep. We're just gonna keep shooting through the outhouse door. Oh my god, there's so many. I came out to try to save something again, that was a bad idea. Oh, there's so many enemies, this is crazy. I don't even know, I can't even comment, this is so hectic. What the heck? You got the juice turning you had, Clyde. Those speakers had to punch. At least our noggins are in one piece. Just hurt a little. Anyway, hope the reward well, now I'm over encumbered. You really saved our behind. Well, that Be was... sure to come on back once we clean things up. Oh boy, a bloodied board. But I always... I think I've participated in this event once before. 
But I was, um, as always, hectic and crazy. And, uh, yeah, I'm definitely over encumbered. Let me, uh, hiding in the outhouse for sure still seemed like the best thing to do, but I, I was able to revive somebody, right? That counted? I think. I think that counted. Wait, can I sell you stuff? Who are you? It looks like you guys got the place back in shape again. What? What is what is he doing? What the hell was that? Okay, uh sorry I don't touch stuff, thanks though, I guess. Uh, so what do you do around this place? <laughs> what is what is this? Am I playing a uh, fan-made mod? We don't even have uh, voice actors. Uh, not much of a talker, eh? Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Yep. What's for sale at the other shop? There's another shop? Because I picked up a bunch of junk I'd like to get rid of. If at all possible. But you apparently don't sell stuff. Please let me out. Alright, well hopefully uh, Sophia will have gotten back to uh, the camp. That was crazy. Vin's got a sick sense of humor making me babysit and pull May duty. Too many freeloaders leaving junk behind in the bunks. Not enough high rollers buying drinks. Still got some of the strong stuff left too, but only... Good for lunkheads who can hold their liquor. At least I get to take out my frustrations on the local wildlife when they come looking for a hamburger. Still can't believe I lost my best shirt fishing caps out of the crapper. All because that chica is such a klutz. Good kid, but she's obviously been coddled her whole life. She's going to need to toughen up, though, before something puts her in the ground. Actually, I guess Vin put me here to prevent just that. Okay. I'll take the insta mash. Alright, said something about another shop. Task mistress. I was I was able to bring you back to life. That's the first time I've been successful at that. I can get in there. Booze and Brahma Terminal. Alright, let's see if I can do some hacking. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no. <coughs> that was terrible. Let's try let's actually try to do it for real. Banshee. Alright, so Banshee's a big fail. So, can't be caravan. Can't be gabbing. Can't be control. Can't be trusted. Could be unknown. There we go. No. Oh, hack 50 terminals. Cool. My first customer. Gonna need a new door. Bad juju. A code of some court, some sort, excuse me. What is this? Whatever, just fix the repellers, Bendejo. Okay. Finally got the bar set up the other night, and this kid comes waltzing in. Looked like he'd been dragged through the brush backwards and sank almost as bad as a pharaoh, but turns out he's just a drifting drunk. All been there, I guess. Says he was the only survivor of some mutant attack at Outpost Foundation was building. After hearing a story, sounds more like a deserter than a hero trying to drown out the memory, he says. He's more likely to drown himself at this rate he's going. Poor kid, the world these days surprisingly gets you more ghosts of the past haunting you. This world's gone crazy, but you gotta make a choice. I am gonna let these memories drive me loco, or am I going to accept them for what they are and keep going? Would have loved to tell that to the kid. Times like this, I start feeling like a lousy bartender. So I guess, yeah, because this guy's mute or whatever. Had to deal with a bar fight recently. Some raider pendejos came in to spend their ill-gotten caps on some booze. Let's be honest, though. They were just scouting out the place to rob us. Well, idiots got themselves a little too drunk, started arguing with each other over who was paying the tab. At first, I just kept my head down and nose out of it, let them sort it out. Punches got thrown, one picked up a stool and started whacking the other with it, but then the other pulled out a knife. Now I ain't gonna sit back and let a drunk 
Maniac go on killing spree on my watch, so I pulled out my shotgun. Of course, the carbon, uh, Cabron, <laughs> the Cabron comes rushing uh, at me. Clearly, they're, they're trying to tell me this guy is uh, Latino. Uh, he took a slug to the chest, and that was that. Freaking out, the other ones start bolting for the door. Yanks the handle so hard the thing falls off its hinges. Haven't seen the guy since, but I'll be ready when uh, uh, I do. Reminds me of the days back with the old gang. Poop was extreme, even for raiders. Glad I got out in one piece, mostly. Bad juju. So Freak came in the bar last night. Didn't even see him come to the door. Just looked up from cleaning the counter, and he, there he was, grinning from ear to ear. Wider than should be possible. He didn't greet me. In fact, he said nothing at all the whole time he was here. Put exactly ten caps on the counter, one at a time. Well, that's how much drinks cost, so I handed him a beer. He took the bottle and sat by the fire for hours. Didn't speak, didn't move, didn't even drink the beer. <laughs> the ungrateful bastard. Only sound I heard him make was a faint chuckle under his breath. Freaked me the F out. Gonna keep my shotgun real close from now on. Alright, archive data. View calendar. Fishing contest. Okay, everything's cancelled. I kind of don't want to read all these. <laughs> this is pre-war stuff, so if you want to read it. I know, I went from complaining that there wasn't lore to when there is lore, not reading it. But honestly, there's a difference from just sticking something in there. And again, I'm completely contradicting myself. I want there to be lore, but I want it to be interesting, I guess. This does not appear to be interesting to me. At all. So why am I clicking on it? In case you want to read it, you can just pause and you can read it. Fun fact number two. Our newest wildlife conservation program, Care About Our Bears, has been a great success for our state. We introduced four full-grown breeding bears, pairs of bears, to the wilderness areas. While that won't be enough to produce a fully genetically diverse population, we hope to bring in several more breeding pairs in the future. Alright, so I guess that's an explanation for why there's so many bears around. Alright, so we got everything out of here. What? What is foil and boil? What is boil and foil? What is that? Oh, that's the name of the Brahmins. That's cute. Vicky and Vance from Fall of New Vegas. Shock and awe. And who else do we got? Hocus and Pocus. Alright, that one didn't want to give me any milk. Alright, it said something about another, another second shop, though. Is this, a, is this a shop? Can I get rid of some stuff here? Please. I didn't know there was... No, this is just a building. With more things to pick up that I, I just need to sell. Oh my god. Try to make some of my money back by picking up this alcohol since there's alcohol here. And I spent caps fast traveling, a lot of caps to the previous episode fast traveling. Royal Jelly. Uh, can't do anything with this bag apparently. That's weird. Fishing hat. Jugs. Empty suitcase. Ranger outfit. Alright, is there actually another shop? That's a building. This one's a bar. I think I might have... I don't know. Have a general store. Okay, that's that's promising. Like I said, I... F feel like I've been here before. Barely keep my eyes open. All right, that's Not who was. Sure how Daddy pulled those all nighters on the road. That's who was chitter chattering during the event. Okay, I mean, it's not stealing. I don't know why I took the glass shards. I mean, I only died once. Another Brahmin graduating soon. I'm so proud. And uh, that other person that died that I revived. Late night shopping? 
Why not visit the Booze and Brahmin for a nightcap? And you can always take a load off at the sleep stop after. Why is your voice echoing? Thanks again for before. How can I help? Weird. Yeah, the audio is very strange with her. We sell general goods, plus some extras like fresh milk, on account of raising the Blue Ridge Caravan Brahmin here. Besides the shop, Clyde sells drinks over at our bar at the Booze and Brahmin, and you can always take a load off at the sleep stop if you get tired. Just mind yourself outside. Had some critters attack the place recently, hence the repairs going on. Yeah, I saw that. I was... I... I, uh, I died. So what's the deal with the Brahmin having two names? Well, okay. Now my mama always said each Brahmin head was its own special self. So of course I had to give each two names. Had fun picking out their monikers. And of course, once one moves on, seems easier just letting the new one take over the mantle. Okay, fair enough. Clyde doesn't talk much, does he? Clyde, <laughs> don't take a <coughs> silent treatment. Is more a count on him losing his tongue. Never got a clear answer about what happened. Rumor is he had a bad run-in with raiders. Hmm. Others reckon he just lost it to a bad rat scorpion stew. Anyways, he runs security at the pit stop. A big softy really once he gets to know ya. Here he used to work for Vinny back in the day. Alright. Apologize for the coughing. What caused this place to get attacked? Always been critters around these parts I hear. Gave us a lot of trouble when we converted these cabins into our pit stop. Ares got his guys to install some fancy repeller speaker doohickeys, which are supposed to keep them away. Not for nothing, but it's a heck of a mess. Has a tendency to break down and do the reverse. Sightings of something huge the last few times. Well, yeah, that was that was a lot. That was pretty overwhelming, but I always feel overwhelmed in the events. Um... Sure, like what? Where'd you get them freckles? Tell me about yourself. Who, me? Oh, um, not much to say, really. Came from a bit back out west. My daddy worked for Blue Ridge driving trucks for Joanna. Well, before the bombs, I mean, when roads were in one piece and trucks weren't just explosive target practice. Being a rookie, Vinny set me up looking after the Brahmin here. Guess he doesn't think I'm ready to travel as a caravanner yet. I like your overalls. How long have you been running this shop? Joined up a while back, thanks to my daddy knowing Joanna from before the bombs dropped. This cabin area was converted recently into our new pit stop, allowing the caravanners to rest and trade Brahmin. Been here since. So Blue Ridge was a trucker company. Sure was. My daddy told me all about it. Taught me their own special lingo and everything. Told me plenty of stories about the world before it got so crazy. Made me want to become a caravanner to follow in his footsteps. Hence why I'm here. What's caring uh, for Brahmin like? I'm guessing a lot of poop. <sighs> it's not caravanning, but it's not all that bad. Cattle can be pretty cute. Just gotta get used to early morning chores. Not a fan of the muck, though. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. What else do you want to know? No, I want to sell you. I want to sell you stuff. Can I? You come back now. You hear? Why can't you transition from the one to the other? I don't know. Take right. your time. How much money does she have? Oh, she has a lot of money. That's awesome because I picked up a lot of junk. I don't want. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. I'm definitely keeping that. Why? Where did I get that from? Is that a reward? That Good is, to see you again. That is cool. I like that. Can't get rid of those. I mean, I could, but let's get rid of that. I don't need a Brahmin skull. Don't want the dog food. Don't want this. Uh... Late night shopping? Why uh, not visit the Booze and Brahmin for a nightcap? And you can always take a load off at the sleep stop after. I will. I don't need a giddy up buttercup head. <laughs> um, heavy robot, left arm. Now I'm good. Hunting rifle, good. Just trying to get back into, uh... So I'm not over Take your time, browsing the stuff. Alright, wait, yeah, this is gonna be heavy. And it's power armor, and I don't do power armor, so boom, there we go. Might as well get rid of this, too, while I'm here. And then I'll do everything else in between episodes. This is just enough to get me back to Sophia. 
Good to see you again. I'll give her the vodka. And the rum. Alright, cool. Now we're at least not over encumbered. Did she actually have anything worth buying? She does have a grenade launcher, Daniel. Late night shopping? Why not visit the booze and Brahmin for a nightcap? And I you mean, can always take a load off at the sleep <coughs> stop after. What I'll do, I'll make you a deal, Daniel. And for anybody else watching who wants me to have a better damage weapon, I still have plenty of script. So I will go to the rusty pick. And I will take try... Your time, the stop. Oh my god, is she going to keep talking this entire time? That's a pretty cool looking weapon. It's cute. I like it. And it looks like that should be hers. Armor penetration. Uh, bolts explode. Weapon damage. Reload. Good to see you again. I was just literally like, I'm not gonna. I would. I'm not gonna use the shotgun. But this. That sounds. Good-ish. Am I crazy? I don't know. But. We will. Uh... Late night shopping. Why not visit the booze and Brahmin for a nightcap? Okay, and you can always take a load off at the sleep stop after. Okay, relax. I will. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, I'll try. I'll play. What did Daddy uh, used to say? It ain't about the destination. I'm just gonna keep talking. Close the, the door. Alright, so this place is kind of cool. I, don't, I didn't remember there being shops and stuff here. Oh, and there's more I can pick up. Oh, no. Did I just immediately overcumber myself? No, and I need a drink, too. Let's get some drinks. What do I got to drink? There we go. Alright, we good? Guana on a stick, sure. What else? Funnel cake. I love funnel cake. I haven't had funnel cake in forever. Alright. Let's switch back. Back to this, in case we need it. But we should be able to go. Yeah, so there's a bar. There's a, So it's just almost like a little town in its own. And what was the name of this again? Middle Mountain Pit Stop. Alright, I might come back here. Since there's shops here. I didn't... I don't... I, I Like I said, I swear I've done this. Same to you. I swear I've done this event before. But I don't remember going into the buildings and talking to people and stuff so maybe I just came did the event and then bounced I, I don't I'm not sure but let's get back to Sophia hopefully that was enough time to give her to get back to camp hopefully maybe but yeah I'll, I'll use I'll spend some script and try to get something explodey some three star whammer jammer <clears throat> And we'll check it out. See, there I am getting hurt again. What? Why am I getting hurt just arriving at camp? Why is he grunting? Ugh. 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 I don't... Alright, hopefully Sophia's here. <laughs> okay. What am I doing wrong? Am I doing something wrong? Like... Sophia's broken now, or... I don't understand. Why is she not at my camp? Uh, why does it want me to look at this? What? What am I looking at? What is this? I don't know. Okay, more Dar public leader. Awesome. I, why, why, why do I need to look at their at their camp for some reason? I don't. I don't understand. Uh, I don't understand why where Sophia's gone. Either, to be honest with you, I'm I'm a little a little baffled. And I said while we did that one quest that we should do the other thing that was there, and then I totally didn't do that. What was that? Was I here? Yeah, lo locate the EMP research program. What did that do? Alright, that did... 
exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay, so I, I don't know. I'll throw this one on. And, uh... Sure. I'll waste 23 more caps. I, I don't know. I... I'm unsure. I could try sleeping or something like that. But it's, again, that's not really a thing. So, again, I'm joking about you know, coming back to the same location. Is everybody going to be back? Respawned? Are all the enemies going to be back? Or am I going to be able to just go in here and grab whatever it wants me to... What a day it's been, but I finally found you. Congratulations! You, you are a winner of the great Appalachian Sweet You found Days. me last episode too. You better not over encumber me. Deliver your prize winnings. We at the Great Appalachian Sweepstakes appreciate your continued purchases and subscriptions. Oh my God. However, we would like to remind you that your bill in the amount of $73,428.66 So I don't I don't even remember what this is. Uh, look at the EMP research program. I don't remember what this is for. Alright, some weird weird explosions going on out there. Like, Sophia, are you stuck in here? On the bright side, it looks like things did not respawn. So, I can get in here, maybe grab whatever this is, and then get out of here, I, I guess. Alright, where am I going? This time I'm going to the left. Okay. Don't mind me, boys. Don't mind me. Well, I guess we're going to have to mind me because I need to use the computer. Alright, fine. Let me take out your eyes. Stand. Alright, took out his eyes. back. Oop, excuse me. I'm trying to kill you and you uh, ran right into me. What? There's another turret that I didn't see. I really, I really need to <laughs> be more aware of the turrets. Alright, so he's done. But I uh, did not see the turret somehow. All right, can we get back to caution? At least caution, caution. If Sophia doesn't show back up at camp, I'm not entirely sure what to do. Maybe I'll just end the episode and um, uh, or pause it. I could always try pausing and reloading. Yeah, that might be the smarter thing to do. See, she happens to show up. I'm watching you. I might have already read this. Johnson, you bonehead. I know you've been stealing my lunches. Did you honestly think it would go unnoticed in a facility that was literally built to watch and listen to everything? Hell, the guy who designed our internal surveillance system. I'm the guy who designed our internal surveillance system. Pay me back double and return my plastic containers. I'll report what you do in the bathroom. Ooh, to CDR Gould. That's, uh, that's embarrassing. Alright. So we had to take out them gutsies just to get over here. Yeah, this is where I grabbed, because I, I picked up all these blank holotapes previously. So again, we've 100% been sent to this specific program. This specific program. To this specific computer for something. Uh, look at the EMP research program. 
Like, I feel like we've read all this in a previous episode. So I'm not reading all this again. Yeah, we've definitely read all this previously. Oh. All right, there we go. Get a Project Siphon holotape. All right, well, that's going to be in here, too. I'm actually in caution, interestingly enough. I don't know from what. There was that other gutsy down there, so maybe that. But since we were just here and killed pretty much everything. Yeah, so we're going from computer to computer when we've already read all the computers in here. That wasn't it. Just tell me where there's a siphon holotape, man. There, I got it. Use the Project Siphon Holotape to extract the data. So I'm guessing I'm just going to go be going to another computer. I don't even know what this quest is for. It literally... It just has me going back and forth. Oh my god. Just going back and forth. So, should I take him out, since he's... Alright, now we don't have to worry about him. Use the project save and holotape to extract the data. Alright, it's not that. Am I supposed to be loading the holotape? Is that what I'm doing? Sure. Okay, upload the data into the fabricator. Okay, where's the fabricator? Like, I guess it would help if I knew what quest I'm doing. What am I even doing here? Oh, okay. The uh, so this is the uh, the the, myth, the the mistress of mystery or whatever quest I was doing this a million years ago with my son actually I didn't realize that that's what we're working on okay so the fabricators out of here so we can run a little bit just to get out. Okay, so we did some progression with uh, that quest and did what we were supposed to do at this location. And maybe, like I said, we'll go back to the camp one more time and if Sophia's not there, I will maybe just do a pause and reload and see if she that makes her show up. Maybe. Alright, let's... Yeah, because it's still... Yeah. 
uh, and that's where we, we'd be going right up to the Riverside Manor. Just nearby where I put my camp anyway. Yeah, it's still not actually showing the 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 diamond here. So like like she's not here, but then I'm not seeing that diamond like she's like moving, like she's traveling. And we had a crash. Well that's unexpected. Alright, we're back after the crash. But the crash seems to have fixed the Sophia not being here problem. So, yay, I guess. Why are some of my walls missing? Come on now. Why are some of my walls missing? 76, you're a special game. I'm glad. God, I thought Athena was a monster. A parasite. But... She was just as much a victim as I. And now... I feel like I can really... breathe again. I'm glad it worked out. So you feel good? No more headaches? I think we should have put a bullet in Emerson. I do, I do kind of think about that. Uh, yeah, headaches. How are the headaches? It's more of a... nagging now. And when it fades... I feel normal. Blissfully normal are you worried about her logically and objectively I think I should be the scientist in me can't discount the possibility but no I'm really not I feel a connection and not the creepy kind and I think it may turn out to be a really good thing what we did Good. Do you feel a, a creepy connection to me? I'm glad it all worked out. I have to say something, and I know it might sound corny, but hear me out. I fell to Earth, and literally anybody could have met me. Most people would have shivved me for my suit alone. So, the greatest miracle of all of this was finding you. Oh, stop. I'm blushing. <laughs> I told you it would be corny. But, well, I mean it. I like corny. So what are your plans now? Now that everything's over, where does that really leave us? I've spent so much time here. I never really stopped to think that this is your home, not mine. I'd like uh, to think of this as your home, too. I think you make a great roommate ill. Think of it more as a business arrangement. No, 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 this one. It feels good to hear you say that. It's been hard to have clarity since I woke up. Between the headaches and total collapse of modern civilization as I knew it, sometimes I'm not sure where certain feelings are coming from. Thanks to you finally be on that and given how life is even more unpredictable than ever these days i just wanted you to know how much you've come to mean to me mm-hmm are you gonna friends don't get any better than you and me i come to think of you as more to friend i like to think our relationship uh, i keep our relationship strictly professional it's a transactional relationship uh yeah let's I mean, it's not giving me flirt, but we'll go with this. Oh, more? More, I more, hadn't... more, more, I mean, more, more. I never... I... <laughs> I flirt I every chance I get. To say. With everything my head has been through, I hadn't even considered that you'd even think I was dating material. I flirted with you. I come with my own set of matched luggage. Every chance I've tried. You know what I mean. Is that you you're saying the carpets match the drapes? Is that what you're saying? I love you, Sophia. You're right. You need more time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm put. I'm put. She just. She, oh God Almighty! You're right. You need more time. Um. Yeah, I feel like I do. Feel like I'm pushing it. Uh. Okay. Oh. 
You're... You're right. And I know. I haven't even taken the time to... redefine who I am in this world. <laughs> One minute I'm listening to soothing whale songs, thinking I'm doing my part, making my parents proud. And next I'm a recently freed experimental lab rat in a post-apocalyptic world. I guess it's time to let the soul searching begin. But still, I have you to thank for that. And now I'm over encumbered. Wish upon a star, complete Sophia's story. Uh, what is that? Alright, are we getting more junk? Or what? Yeah, Stimmies, right away, sure if I would or. Alright, that's what they just showed. Alright, so what if I talk to her now? What happens? There's something potentially interesting coming up on the scanner. Okay. Anything for you? Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> just like wherever, just, just whatever, whatever, you, what, am, what am I fetching now, lady? Is there anything dangerous nearby I should know about? Can we chat about something else? Uh, is there anything dangerous nearby I should know about? I saw some sort of human-like signatures there. Weird, though. And not the same kind of weird as... Oh! <laughs> it's mole miners! <laughs> of course. Okay, mole miners, uh... Would... <sighs> Anything for you. Oh, you're the best. And not just because we're in an apocalyptic wilderness and my options are heavily limited. I actually mean it. What the hell is the Settler Apprentice? What is that? Relocate and rescue a missing person. Talk to me, friend. Oh, she's it's comforting to have a normal conversation sometimes. We're 100% friend zone now. What will you do now? What do you think about this place? Tell me about space. Can we talk about us for a moment? I gotta go. What we... Uh, didn't we already ask her that? Dr. Lee commented that Earth just seemed so fragile out there. So alone. I watched the clouds spinning over our sparkling home. Dangling in the vast emptiness of space. And I thought, we are hardy little things, aren't we? Well, that was very, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. What do you think about this place? I do like seeing the variety of life in Appalachia. It's so odd. So strange. Sometimes I think I should have been a botanist or a biologist. Oh, I've adjusted the scanner, so it should be able to continue to pick up good signals around here, at least. Okay. You ever miss the old days? Before going to space? Sure, of course. I mean, it wasn't so long ago to me, you know? But I'm trying to remind myself actively that it's over. It's like walking through a door and closing it behind me. Almost everybody I knew is behind that door, and it's just right there. So close, I can hear them. But the door is locked, and... The key is gone. So, like, all of a sudden, everything she says is really deep. I wanted to say esoteric, but I'll just go with deep. Tell me about space, Sophia. When they strapped me into the capsule, I knew. Anything might happen. Could crash into a million pieces. Could fling us off course and off into who knows where. I even joked to myself about seeing aliens. I never, ever thought that we might be the last people to see Earth from up there, though. 
Well, let me tell you something about aliens. Because I guess you don't know. If you could, would you go back to space? I hope we can return someday. Ah, uh, there's so much that we need to do to get us back in that position, though. Oh, wait. I was supposed to say something like, No, I've got all I need right here. Right? <laughs> well, sure, sure. Both of those things are true. Tell me about your future, Sophia. <laughs> These are such weird, invasive questions. No matter what happens, I know you will be a part of it. Okay, I like that answer. All right, can we talk about us for a moment? Oh, of course. Friends don't get any better than you and me. All right, so this is like I could I could push the uh, I could push the love thing here if I wanted to. Oh, more? I hadn't. I mean, you've never. I. I don't know quite what to say. The hell was that noise? With everything my head has been through. I hadn't even considered that you'd even think I was dating material. All right, so we can go I back. Come with my own set of matched luggage. We can go if back. If you know what I mean. To this, if we want to, in the future, I guess is what what's it saying. All right, I'll. Oh. You're. You're right. I can and be I patient. I haven't even taken the time to redefine who I am in like, this world. I don't know what happens if I push it. I'm listening to soothing whale songs. So Thinking I'll leave it like this part. for now. Making my parents proud. And next I'm a recent... I guess it's time to let the soul searching begin. Okay. So she apparently still gives out quests. Which I wasn't expecting. Um, was there anything uh, else? I've got some time. Sure. You got some, What's on your mind? You, you busy? You got other things going on? Alright, now, so just... Affirmative. Out. So she keeps handing out quests, apparently. Let's take... I'm not over-encumbered. How am I not over-encumbered? I thought for sure I'd be over-encumbered with all that stuff she gave me. Alright, so what do we get here? What is this thing? Vats, critically... Wheel... Criticals. I can read. Vats, criticals will heal you and your group by 5% health. That's... Weird. <laughs> Spoiled meat, yay. Um, grants up to 35 energy resistance. The higher health currently, plus 33. That's interesting. Okay. So... I think I'm going to wrap this episode up here. I was going to go longer, but I, I'm at that point where I kind of really need to do inventory management jazz. I mean, I'm not I'm not over encumbered, but I'm only two pounds away. I need to get rid of some of these things that I'm not going to use, like the Juggernaut's machete and yada, yada, yada. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so... We've completed Sophia's story. Let's take a quick look at quests. So, we still have this apparently going to come up. And so we have, in here we have duty calls. Robco Research Center, Sergeant Rackle. So this is the, if I'm going to Settler Way, I believe. This... Is confusing to me still because it's like it seems like it's it, I need to do it with other people I need to do it with other people <laughs> sometimes I think um now I'm over and covered apparently just standing here so I say like main quest but like and I met someone I guess I'll do this stranger. once and over time, just so that way we've seen well, it that then, stranger isn't a stranger anymore. Oh my god, she's talking over me. I don't believe in luck or fate or any of that. But I do know that I wouldn't have changed a thing. Okay. That's I was wondering if you were coming back. That's sweet. I'm going to go stand all the way over here so I can finish rambling. So, this and this. Like I said, I don't know if I can do both of them. 
because I don't know if when I do them it locks me into yes I'm doing that with the settlers yes I'm doing that but uh, I really don't like Johnny like at all uh, and I don't have any issues with the settlers so foundation I guess I should say so I'm thinking that I, I guess we'll do this eventually and we'll do this once I mean mainly we're working on side quests which is not really that many. Order a tadpole, like I don't, I don't know. I was working on the demonstrate uh, pioneer scout values, and I don't remember what the earn world challenge badges is. But I was trying to do that just to get the backpack. Um, this also has to do with launching nukes. We can keep doing this trying to figure out what I want to do next. Months ago, the RBC Scout of Appalachia looking for ways to secure nuclear silos. I mean, maybe we'll we'll do that, I guess. So we will do the ally, next episode, we'll do the ally quest. And then we will jump to the overseer's missions. And then at some point in time, I don't know how to get back to doing Beckett stuff. Like if I want to do Beckett stuff, how do I... I guess I have to put him back out. It's, it sounds so weird. I have to put Sophie away and put him back out, I guess, for his quest to come back. But, uh, I don't know. I feel like this is coming to a close in, in, in certain respects. Which I'm kind of excited about. <laughs> Because there's so many uh, Fallout 4 ideas I have. And as soon as it's done, we'll 100% be doing... Uh, this will be replaced with a Fallout 4 uh, series. So, maybe Sim Settlements? Maybe America Rising? Maybe the other idea that I've been holding in my pocket for a while now as a secret? Um which was exci is exciting to me, maybe not exciting to you, but with all that being said, this has been episode 96. Wow. Episode 96 of Fallout 76 Blind. Still playing it blind. That's why I don't know how to do things still. 96 episodes in. Death. I died. And I brought somebody back to life this episode. That was exciting. That's the first time I've done that. And dumb. Uh, I'm sure I did something dumb in this episode. I can't think of anything specific, but I'm sure if you watched this far into the episode, you for sure noticed something that I did that was dumb. I am Loki the Mad Titan. With all that being said, I bid you adieu, goodbye, and good night, Vault Dwellers. Thank you so very much for watching. Please consider subscribing. I didn't say it in the intro. Again, I keep... I, I, I don't... I, I'm terrible at it, but please... Please, let's make sure that they're not nuking me, or not nuking me. Please consider subscribing. Thank you so very much. Have a good night.